All right, hey class, today we have the world map for the era of U.S. becomes a world power, aka U.S. imperialism. So the directions are as followed. Uh, neatly label the seven continents, label the five oceans, be sure to include totals, it's tidal, compass rows, orientation, Pacific, uh, sorry, uh, date, author, legend, and scale. The map must be colored. We're just going to highlight our titles for those oceans and continents to color them. And last, we need to put a symbol, ideally a star, a triangle, make it really bright for each of the six territories that the United States imperializes or expands and takes over during this era. So the six we're looking for, you got to find them on your map. Hawaii, the Philippines, Cuba, Puerto Rico, Panama, and Guam. Make sure to label them too. So let's jump in and see how we do this. How do I insert and draw on a map directions? So we're going to start here. I'll put my cursor down here at the bottom. Um, here's your directions, right? We're going to click insert, drawing plus new, image icon, and then search. Our search will be world map template. So inserts here located at the top of your screen. Click insert, drawing new and in here there are icons at the top we're gonna to look for one called image we're gonna click this icon instead of uploading one from the computer we're going to search in our search tab we need to find a world map template so I'm typing world map template so it's a blank world map it's not labeled that will allow us to do the activity today now we notice we have some world maps here. Uh, some have oceans, some lack Antarctica, right? So when picking my world map, I want to go with something I am comfortable with. Uh, this one does have Antarctica on it, which is really nice. This one does have the oceans colored, which is really nice too. So I'm just going to pick this one, even though it doesn't have Antarctica. I'll go over how we can draw Antarctica in in a moment. So I have my world map, and this is where it gets fun. I need to label my continents. You say, Coach, I don't remember where my continents are. If you hit save and close, here's your map. But if you scroll down, you will see we have included a world map reference for you with the continents and oceans. So we do have Antarctica on here. In addition, we've included one additional map for one of the six territories, and that is Guam. Guam is difficult to find, but if you were to look up any other location, such as Hawaii, on a world map, and I'm not sure which ocean Hawaii is in, I can clearly find Hawaii located here. It is west of the United States out in the Pacific right here. It's kind of aligned with the latitude of, sorry, yeah, latitude of Mexico. So if I jump back to my world map and I'm in here, now I know where North America is, I know the Pacific Ocean, and I know Hawaii is out here. So I'm going to go ahead and click. Let's go ahead and get those labeled. So I can use text box to label. So I can do North America. I'm just going to make sure everything looks nice and pretty. And if you feel that's too big a font, we can minimize it. I can shorten my box. And now you say, Coach, how do we color our continents? So I double click or control all, selecting all my fonts. I'm going to fill. Uh, let's go with a nice color for America. We'll go with the baby blue. There we go. So I have North America labeled. And now, let's go ahead and find an ocean. Let's do something like the Pacific Ocean, right? So I'll come out here with my text box. And I'm going to do Pacific Ocean. Technically, there are two areas for you to label for this. Because there are, there's one here. I just did control copy and control V, right? Control C, control V. I'm just going to put Pacific Ocean on either side so we know it's on. 
it wraps around, right? This is a Mercator map. So what about Hawaii? So Hawaii's right there where the mouse is. Let's do this. I can go to shape, and with shape, I'm going to go into, maybe I want to do triangle, maybe I want to do smiley face, uh, or if I want to do star, right? So I can do star. I have to draw my shape. I have to kind of drag it, and I can color it. I'll do a bright green. And now I'm going to label my star Hawaii. And check your font size. See what works for you. Well, if you accidentally select everything like this, just hit the escape button. It'll deselect everything for you. So if I'm trying to select Hawaii here, and I want to make the font smaller, there you go. You have the font tool at the top, and there's Hawaii. Now, so coach, well, where am I going to find the other territories? Well, you need to look them up, be resourceful. We know Guam is in that Pacific Ocean on the east part of the map. You know, Guam's out over here. So let's go ahead and get Guam. So I'll take my star. I'm going to control copy, control paste. That's control V. I'm going to drag it over to where Guam is. And I'll take, I'll take that Hawaii one. I'll control copy. Control V, and let's label it Guam. Awesome. So, one final thing we're missing is Antarctica. So this is the draw tool, or scribble. So up here there's line. I'm going to scribble. I'm going to draw my Antarctica. Right. So this is a continent not on this map. All right, and I need to label Antarctica. So I'll just put my text here, Antarctica. Nice. If you find these text boxes get out of distance here, you just bring it on back in. Nice. So remember, you can always hit save and close to access your map. If you accidentally delete your map, ah, don't forget you have the undo button also, which is the shortcut control Z. I hope this was enlightening and helpful. If you need anything, please contact one of your U.S. history teachers or Coach Raska. Have a good day. Bye. One final thing. I forgot to mention the totals. Your title, your orientation, date, author, legend, and scale. So that's going to be all about the scribble tool and the line tool. So the first thing in totals is actually your title. So what is this a map of? Map of US imperialism, right? So you're titling your map. So I got my map title, good to go. I'll even make that underline, control U. So my, my title's there, what about orientation? That's a compass rose. For orientation, I can use the line tool. And oh, remember how I said if you accidentally select things, you can hit escape to deselect. That's what I just did. So line tool. So I'm going to do a compass rose right here. Try to get as straight as possible. Cool. So I get my scribble tool, which is located instead of line tool. I'll just do scribble. I'll do north. Never eat. So that's east. Soggy south. Waffles. West. Cool. So that's my compass rose. Uh, next is your date, right? So you can put your date at the top. Uh, today is 11 slash 3 slash 20. Um, after date, we have a legend. So we can just take our little symbol we did here, which is our star. Whoop, wrong one. So I can take my star here, and I'm putting my star right here, and I'm going to make sure it's green. Uh, better yet, instead of just taking it, I can just copy it. Control C, Control V, right? So if I do my legend right down here, I'm going to say that star equals a U.S. territory. So I'll put a little text box here. I'll put equal sign. 
equals U.S. territory, right? Yes, territory, so it's going to be. Cool, awesome. So this could be my legend, letting the map reader know that each star is a U.S. territory. Awesome, cool. And last but not least, we can do a scale, right? So that's my legend key. Let's do scale. So I'll just do a pretend scale. Make sure I got my scribble tool on. So it's going to look like a ruler. And I'm going to put here that this distance is 1,000 miles. So I can do uh, inches here. I can do, oh sorry, so it's supposed to be inches, but I guess it's best to use text tool. It makes it a little easier. So I can do inches, and I can do miles. I did control Z just to move the map back. So I got now, if you want to get rid of a scribble, you just hit delete. You just got to click the line, get rid of it. So inches, miles, and I'm just going to put the scribble tool. I'll put, right, so we got zero here. We got one inch here, two inches here. So we can put from miles. We'll do, this is uh, with text tool. I'll put a thousand miles is the one inch. And then for the two, I'll put 2,000 miles. Cool. Awesome. So there's my scale. I'm going to save and close. Make sure you finish the rest of your continents and oceans. And don't forget your other territories. If you need anything, once again, please contact your U.S. history teacher or myself, Coach Roscoe. Have a good day. Bye.